tell me, what is your name? That is a lie, but one day it will not be. One day the girl will have no name. I am here to discuss with you today the art of the many faces. However, you are not ready yet to wear the face of another. There are many things you must learn first before a girl has no name. First, you will learn to disguise yourself using the tools that normal humans use. However, you will combine them with the gifts of the many-faced God. You will learn to be no one. And when you are no one, that is when you can be anyone. First, think of your own face. You think of your eyes. You think of your skin. But you think wrongly. Think instead. When others' eyes fall upon me, what do they see? That is the question you should be asking yourself. Child who should have no name. Go, go now and look into the pool, but do not drink from the pool. Look at your face. What do others see? Cease for a moment to see the face you have seen your entire life. See instead what you are truly. The flesh, the curve of your chin, the way your hair falls into the pool, all of these things, your wide, large eyes. You say to yourself, but I cannot change these things. These are as I am, and that is not so. This one learned long ago before I took on another's face, that one can change their face without the full gifts of the many-faced God. We will start with your hair. Take that there, take that wig and put it on. That is terrible. That is not how you wear a wig. Do not put a wig on as you would a cowl to protect yourself from the rain. There must be reverence in the cloth and the fabric. Treat it as if you have just been scalped. You have just had the flesh torn from your head and you are now bleeding and dying. And the only thing that will prevent this from happening is the placement of this wig on your head. Because if you do it precisely so, it will become a part of you forever. Good. That is better. It is not best. We will continue to work on it. Once you are wearing a wig, you are no longer wearing a wig. That is your hair. That is how long your hair is. You will think of it in no other way. Just as we do not picture the face of the faceless God, we do not picture our hair any other than it is presenting at this time. If I was to wear a wig with hair as long as your true hair, I would hold my head in a different fashion. I would stroke the hair thus to remove it from my eyes. I would consider, does it need to be cut? Does it need to be plated, what these things do 
is they put these thoughts in your head and your body will then follow suit. But there is more. You must learn the application of the makeup. You must learn to cover your own face in order to be another. Now, carefully think to yourself as I apply this. Think to yourself, who do I wish to be? Who do I truly think that I am? Am I a girl who has no name? You are not yet, but you will be someday. Now, when you put on the covering, it will change the color of your skin, but it is much, much more than that. You will go out today and you will study the people you see. Right now, when you see a man with dark skin, all you see is a man with dark skin. But I wish you to look and see. See what there truly is. That man with dark skin, you see, the circles are darker under his eyes. He has not slept well in many nights. He is plagued by nightmares. When you are applying these things, when you are putting on these things, you must put on not simply that darker shade under the eye. You must let that seep into your soul and so that you feel the weight of his lack of sleep. And so you will begin to carry yourself like a man in such a state. Look beyond when you see the woman who walks. Does she have a scar on her cheek? Now, of course, you would take the makeup and apply the line to your face, but that does not mean that you have simply put a line on your face. That is foolish children's work. You look hard at her. How did this scar come to be? Was her husband cruel to her and struck her in the back of his hand and his ring cut her cheek? Was she cut by a hook while mending the mini nets out in the town? Or was it scratched on her by a lover in a moment of passion? Study carefully and you will see these things. And then when you apply that line, the weight of that scar will bear you down and you will become that woman as you become a girl who has no name. Now, your assignment is to go out into the village. You will come back to me this evening and you will describe to me in great detail. I will be listening. Great detail. One person. Take no account for our old, young, fat, skinny, light skin, dark skin, man or woman. Just find one who you understand by their appearance. Come back to me and describe them. And we will create that person's face on you. And you will become them for a day. You will walk in the market. You will purchase food as them. You will laugh with their friends and they will not know. Is this using the power of the mini face God? Yes because covering the face alone cannot do this. But you will begin the process. You will begin the journey to a girl who knows nothing, to a girl who has no name. What is your name if you would be one
who has no name, subscribe to this channel.